Welcome back, everybody. This video is brought to us by Northern Corruption Monitor 907. This is at a public assistance division in Anchorage off Gamble Street. This is crazy, you guys. Security guards go hands-on. Leave me a comment. Do me a favor, like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a video or I go live. Let's get into it. Enjoy. Here we have the Division of Public Assistance Dropbox. <sighs> Holy smokes, look at this line. You guys are waiting for services in here, huh? Hey, how's it going? Huh? Yes, so can I help you? Do you need an application or anything? Uh, what's your name? Levi. Levi? You look like a cop or something. No, I work private security. You don't work for this office? Uh, I'm contracted out to a third party, actually. Okay. Can I go in? Um, we actually don't allow cameras in here because we have people working here and private information is exchanged, such as people's birthday, phone number, social security number, places where they live, things that if people are able is that, to get a video of and okay. all that. that is that stuff kept out in the open? or No, we don't let people's personal information out in the open. Goodness, no. That's so, why we don't allow people to film in there, sir. Well, then they would be okay to film. It's a public office, right? Right. I understand where you're coming from, sir, and I'm all about the First Amendment. However, due to the security of people's private information, we can't allow people to walk up and film and things like that because we have paperwork okay. there at the desks okay. that could give people's personal information away. Like I said, social security number, phone number, place of residence, things that you probably need to keep private. Even sometimes I've heard people, you know, automatic deposits. We have automatic deposit slips in there, people's private information, sir. I can't let you go in there with that, okay? Okay, I was going to try to get services. And there's case law, Supreme Court case law, that says I have a right to record my interaction with the government. And you're more than welcome to interact. I'm, I'm not working, I don't work for the government personally. However, I know that with people's private information there, there's an expectation of privacy, which falls under the Fourth Amendment of an expectation of privacy. And you can look this up if you'd like, okay? Mm -hmm. um, so people have an expectation of privacy in there, so I can't let you in there and take videos and films of people because they have an expectation of privacy inside this room. Uh-huh. Okay. All right, I'm not trying to be rude, so I'm just telling you. All right, right. well, you're, you're misinformed. It's That's it's not the law. That's not how the law actually, works. Yeah, actually, you can look up the case, and I can't recall it, but I actually uh, I actually have, uh, have studied you, Have you heard of Brandsburg v. Hayes? Yeah. Yeah, I also know that when the FBI illegally tapped a public payphone, okay, back in the 1960s, the person had an expectation of privacy. Okay, let's dive into that a little bit. What is a reasonable expectation of privacy? The Fourth Amendment to the United States Constitution tells us that we have the right to be free from warrantless police searches in areas which we have a reasonable expectation of privacy. This refers to certain areas or aspects of one's personal life in which a reasonable person would expect privacy. Specifically, the Fourth Amendment refers to our persons, houses, papers, and effects as areas that should not be searched without a warrant. He said the Fourth Amendment. This is about search and seizures from the government. This isn't about people walking around doing their daily lives for other citizens. This is talking about privacy from the government. There is no expectation of privacy in public. Privacy, and he was involved in criminal activity, but he took it to the Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court issued he had an expectation of privacy, even though he was using a public payphone. Okay. People have an expectation of privacy. In this well, that's room, a whole so different thing. That's not. I'm just letting you yeah, know up front. This is an okay? open public office. So if you though. go in there with that, trying to film, I'm going to have to it's, ask you politely to go. Okay, I'm just letting yeah, you know but up front, okay? I'm just informing you that's a violation of my First Amendment rights. And I and I am all about the First Amendment and the Second. Hey, you won't find anybody that's more in support of people's First and Second Amendment. But I also support the First Amendment 
as people have a certain expectation of privacy, okay, and unlawful search and seizure of their private information, including why would, information that's Why passed, would people's okay? private information be out well, in the open? They are passing information back and forth because we are the Department of Assistance here, okay? So there is private information there. That's why I can't let you go in there with that camera, okay. all right, sir? I'm just letting you know, okay? People have an expectation. Well, I was going to do a public records request and also retain some services. And you are welcome to do that and stay in line. And I'm going to record my you, interaction with the government, have, and that's my well, right. Well, that's something that you're going to have to take up with a higher authority than me. Do you so, have a supervisor? Okay? Um, I can get a supervisor for you, but you I, do that. I'm going to let, I'm going to do that. Okay. okay? I'm letting What's your you name? know. Please stay. I already gave it to you, sir. I'll tell you again, though. Give me one moment. Sure. I'm going to ask you politely, sir, to sure. please not stand in the direct access of my door because if there's a fire emergency, everybody has to exit. And I also want to tell you, if you could just wait right here, sure. okay? Please do not go in there while, uh, you while, get your while I'm gone. I can go get someone right. you can talk to and you can share your concerns. Sounds request. good. And you won't find cool. anybody more supportive of the first and second. Than sure. You. You'll find out it's my right to be in there with the camera. Yes, and every, sir. Yeah. And, and you can take that up with uh, sure. someone that's makes more decisions than I do. All right, cool. No, I'm not trying to prove anything. It's the law. It's your right. It's our right not to have our picture taken, too. It's an open public just government office. I asked you politely, sir, to please not yeah. come in here with that, sir. I asked I'm you. Good. I'm good. You're okay. Sir, please exit this building, or I'm going to help you exit. I have a manager coming to get you, okay? I'm, I'm asking you politely, sir. You, Sir, can I please ex get you to exit out this way? Thank you so much. I appreciate the cooperation, sir. Okay. Okay. Sure. I told you, we have people's private information in there, Wayne. You can't walk around and do that. And I support our First Amendment. I do, okay? But I've asked you politely to please not go in there while I went and got a I, I have business and in there. And you immediately walked in there. I have I business in there. I asked you nicely there. not to do that. I know. I have business in there, though. And we can conduct your business, sir. But we have people's private information is in there, man. I can't. That's, you, that's you're all okay. about people's First it's Amendment. All, if you're not Respect protecting it, that's on you. The onus is on you. Respect to protect people's right to privacy, okay? I do. I'm I'm good with that. The okay. onus is on you, you sure? to protect their you privacy. Are you, the onus is on manager. you to protect their privacy, dude. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not going to argue with you. That's the law. If, did you call down. your supervisor? Yeah, I went in. That's why I was going to go get one. Are they coming? You. Yes, they okay. said that they're on their way. Because right? it is my explicit right under the Supreme Court sir, case law to record in sir, public offices. Sir. I support people's okay. First Amendment. Well, I you didn't really need to put really your hands care. on me. I asked That's you unlawful. Leave. You got a, That's I battery. Asked you, I said, can you please exit? You did not go, so I escorted I you. I have out. a right to be in there. Please don't film in there, sir. I'm going to okay? film. It's my right, bro. You can take that. Look, I'm not your bro. I'm not your bro. You're not my bro. I gave you my name, sir. You can okay. Call me, sir. Sir. Okay. I'm okay. calling you, sir. Okay. All right. We're not that close. All right. What's your name? What's your name? Ace. Ace? Yeah. Okay. Who do you work for, Ace? Security company. What security company you work for, Ace? Phoenix. Huh? Phoenix. You understand it's my right to be in there with the camera, right? And I'm not, I'm not trying to bug anybody. That's my right to interact. You have a right to re record your interaction with the government. Okay, so they cool. can discuss this with you. And, You'll and get educated. Can, and they can move forward from there. You'll get educated. Uh, yes, sir. I appreciate I appreciate it. Um, I'm sure that you did very well in law school. Okay.
somebody nervous here, and they got to get an inhale around the cake. And What's that? You're making someone nervous here, and she's got to get an inhale. You're making her nervous. Can I please get you to I'm not doing anything to her. I'm just saying, okay, I don't want anybody having a medical emergency. I don't either. You're making her excited, not me. I have an application I'm going to turn in for heating assistance. <sighs> I was just letting you know I'm a, I got to turn the application in. I'm going yes, to do it in person. Yes, sir. I'm going to record my interaction with the government. You can also fill that out here in line if you want while you wait. I've seen people do that, which is also something you want to do. Mm -hmm. We also have desks in the far rear there. To I'm good, bro. I'm going to turn it in person and I'm going to fill my interaction. I'm not your brother, sir. Please. No, you are my bro. It's sir. All right. Just no, you you're not my sir. sir. I call you sir out of respect. So uh -huh. you respect people. Yeah, I'm rights. losing respect for you real Please quick, bro. Me, okay? I'm losing respect for you real you're quick. Trying. He's just trying to get up under my skin, but it's not going to work. No, I'm this. not, dude. Shut so, up. Um, go but go do your job yes, you and shut up. Like I said, if it's if you want to, you can fill it out while you wait. You don't have to, though. We do have desks. All right. I don't need your directives. Yeah. Well, you just want to let me know, so I'm giving you information. Okay. Go do your job. If you guys look at <clears throat> the Google reviews for this public office, this Department of Public Assistance, it's horrendous. They treat people like shit. Yeah, what is your name? My name's Jessica. What's your name? My name's Sam. How you doing, Jessica? I'm doing good. Oh, are we recording? You came out from the office? Yeah, I came out from the office. Oh, okay. How can I help you? Oh, you can't help me. I'm going to go in and turn an application into the people inside. Oh, okay. In the government office there. I, I appreciate you coming out, though. That, um, I also heard that you were looking for a fair hearing request. They a what? A fair hearing request. Who told you that? The security guard. So a man hearing. with a camera is looking for a fair hearing request? I don't know what that is, but I didn't say they anything to that effect. No, he okay. lied. Okay. Thank yeah, you. thank you. If anybody has paperwork they just want to turn in, we do have a drop off box just outside the doorway here. It's locked in, secured, anything placed inside that box will be picked up today. Just please make sure that anything that you turn into that box is signed, initialed, and dated with up-to-date contact information so you can be reached, okay? Make sure you put a mailing address of some kind on there so they can reach you, all right? I wish you never lose time and patience. Thank you. Thank you. I have a note, a piece of paper here, and a, a sticky pad and a pen. Because um, I've been given explicit instructions by my uh, leadership because the building manager is not in today, and I apologize about that. The building manager has nothing to do with this public office. Okay. Well, that I'm only relaying information, so I do not have the... Uh, what kind of re information are you relaying? Uh, the information I was just given, so, okay? Okay. So, the building manager is currently not in, and I'm really sorry about that, okay? I really, seriously, I, if you want to talk to him, I apologize for her. I don't know who the building manager is, but if you could take this pen, pen sir, and this notepad, and just write your information down so we can have your information, and you can fill out your application, but I've also been told that you can just drop it in the box because 
My leadership has asked me to ask you to leave, okay? Yeah, that's good. That's good to know. Okay? Okay. Can can I get your information, sir? You don't no. have to give it if you don't want it, if no. you don't want to. I actually don't. Unless I'm out of line or I'm breaking the law, I don't need to talk to you no more. Okay, well, okay, well, uh, uh, you're welcome to fill out that information, you know, your, your application. I'm going to retain services. services here. I'm going to turn and, my application and, in, and I'm going to fill well, my interaction with I, the government. I've been, I have been given explicit instructions, sir, to ask you politely to leave. Okay. okay. I have been given explicit instructions to do this. I'm not losing my job. By the American sir. people. Thank you so much for your yes. Please get you to step out and come with me. I've been asked for to why? Because I have been given explicit instructions by my leadership to ask you. To you guys seeing this? This is your right to film. Do you understand that? And all I'm trying to do is film my interaction sir, with the government. I'm asking you politely. I'm turning an application in. If you guys you look politely, at the Google sir, reviews for this office, please they treat the people building. like shit. Sir, I don't want to treat anyone like that. Can don't I please? Put your get, hands. You're going to get sued. Sir, I'm asking no. you, sir, you have it on camera. I've asked you politely to please exit the building. No, I want you to get, no, what am I doing wrong? This is a privately owned building that a government office happens to be on. Sir, ultimate you, have it, you have it on camera. I've ownership. asked you politely, sir. I'm asking you politely, as per nice my leadership, if to please. You should, you should call your supervisor. Please exit the building. I did. You, An email was sent, and I was given explicit okay. instructions to ask you to leave. I, and if I you have refuse to, to escort you, I have sir, to turn in an application to this public office. You can office. turn it in at our drop-off drop box. box. We do have a drop-off box. Who, it's, who it's, are you? Here, please look right here. Don't me. Well, why are sir, you interjecting? We, we do we do have a drop off box, sir. Okay. It's All locked right. and secured. Anything placed inside that box will be picked up, so long as it's not what, on the weekend. What was your name again, sir? What was your name again? You can pull your footage for that. Okay. I'm I don't, I'm just giving you our drop off box information. Okay. Okay. We have a drop off right. box, sir. It's locked and secured. Anything placed inside that box will be okay. picked up Monday through Friday. Okay, just make sure anything that you turn Here into that box, Phoenix sir. Here Protective yes, sir. Security. Anything you drop into that drop-off box, sir, please make sure it's signed, initialed, and dated okay. with up-to-date contact information I, so you can be reached. Okay, can now, I please talk Please come now? with me. Can I talk? Uh, no, sir. Our conversation no? is coming to an end, sir. I'm concluding it. Okay. Please come forward and please exit the doorway, sir. Okay? All right, if you don't, I'm going to have to escort you, and I'm really trying to avoid that, okay? Out of respect for your personal, out of respect for your personal bubble, I'm trying to avoid that added rights for you, sir. Please exit the door. If you don't, I'm going to have to escort you, sir, and I will do my job. I'm letting you know up front, okay? Now, please come forward and please exit the building. Okay. Okay, I got to jump in here. This security guard has asked him. His supervisor has told him to ask him to leave. His supervisor never told him to put hands on him, according to what he says. Now, a security guard's job is to observe and report. If they wanted him physically removed from the building, they should have called local law enforcement and had local law enforcement remove him. A security guard should not be putting their hands on citizens unless there's an immediate threat of harm. An immediate threat. He was not an immediate threat. He was standing in line. Sir, I'm gonna I'm going to lightly escort you to the door. Please don't resist me, sir. I, I will put you in cuffs, okay? Please come forward, okay? Look at this guy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, I will get the door for you, sir. Okay. Please come with me. Okay, thank you so very much. Oh, excuse me, sir. I can't have you go back in there. Okay, I've been asked. I've been given explicit instructions. Yeah. You, you need to call APD. This is my right to turn an application in. <laughs> I love it. He just turns around and walks back in. Oh, that's good stuff. Now you hear the handcuffs. The security guards pulled out the handcuffs. It's about to get crazy. Hold on. Buckle up. <sighs> sir, you're going to go in these cuffs right now. You can either go. Get down. Ow! Get down to the ground. Ow! 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 Give me that hand. Oh! Give me that hand. 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 Give
on the right. Help! Let go of my cuffs. Help! Let go of my cuffs. Give me that hand, sir. Give me my phone! Give me that hand. Give me that, sir. You are assaulting me. Give me that you hand. You are assaulting me. Give me that hand. You are assaulting me. I got mine right here. And he's got his arms locked. You are assaulting me. You are hurting me. Now, please give me that hand, sir. Give me my phone. Give me your hand. Sir, sir, unlock your hand. Ow! Give me that hand. Ow! Sir, give me that hand. You want your phone? You're gonna get sued! Let me get it. Give me my phone! Give me my phone! Bring it to you. Come again. Give it to me! are super tight right now. Here, give me a second and I'll check those, okay? We got. All right, let me just. All right. Okay. Let's no loosen this, but I'm asking you politely. Do not start getting squirrely, okay? I'm going to loosen this up some because I. I'm just going to. There we go. Okay. There we go. You fucking pussy. I want to talk to your supervisor, you fucking pussy. No, don't worry, we will. Are you on the phone with APD or APD? Yeah. APD? Okay. I want to talk to APD, you fucking okay. bitch. And, and they will. Sir, please remain right Get here. Get your okay? fucking hands off. I'm waiting until APD gets here. You're welcome to do that, sir. Please wait over here outside. Don't tell me where to fucking stand, dude. Sir, do we have to do this again, man? I'm, I'm not going inside. Just get no, your fucking inside. hands off stand me. Stand right there. Not Why inside. not stand where you tell me? Get the fuck away from Please. me. Get the fuck away from me. Stand right there. I'm standing sir. right here. Stand right there, sir. No. You've already assaulted me. <sighs> sir, I'm going to ask you to please take one step that way. Okay, thank you. This guy continues to can assault me. I want you to know you, you ripped my jacket, man. I paid 300 You fucking hurt me. You hurt my back. You hurt my arms. You hurt my legs. Four zero zero one Ingra Street. Tell him it's at the DMV. Sir, 
you stand still, man. I don't want you going all over the place, okay? It's snowy, it's wet, and it's icy out here. I don't want you to crawl, okay? Yeah. Sir, please go stand Keep your hands off me. Please go stand up. I don't want you falling down on this slick sidewalk, man. It's slick out here, okay? Sir, it's very slick right here. Please come to the side. Thank you, sir. Sir, sir. Get your f***ing hands off me. Start obeying simple commands, please. Get your f***ing hands off of me, dude. Again, man. Please come this way. I don't want to have to do this This again. fucking cuff please. is tight. Please come this way. I I'm loosening this cuff. Loosen this fucking cuff. Okay. Look at my f***ing hand. Look at how tight this is. Can you stand over here so we don't have to Look. sit on this slick sidewalk and do all this? Okay. Okay. Look at how fucking tight this is. The sidewalk is extremely slick, sir. Let's not stand on it, okay? Please come over this way, sir. Okay, let's get in the snow where we don't have to stand on the slick sidewalk. Okay? Sir, please come stand on the snow. I don't want to have to do this again, okay? Now, if you'll excuse... Hey, uh, do you want me to be able to check those for you? I need to see your hands to do it. Yeah. Okay? Now... Sir, man, look, I don't want to be rude, okay? Can you please go stand in the snow, just like I've asked you several times? All right, the sidewalk is very slick, and this is the sidewalk, and we're blocking the way people want to come by, okay? Stand over here. All right, please come over here with me, sir, okay? Because I, I do want to check your cuffs, all right? I'm not an aggressive or a violent man, so please let me check your cuffs. I was starting to front that. Me and my partner here, sir. Sir, sir, come over here in the snow, man. It's, hey, man, hey, hey, man, hey, I'm not trying to be rude, okay? Come over here in the snow, get off this slick sidewalk before we hurt fall, okay? And just, just wait right here, okay? You can even sit down if you'd like. Now, let me check your cuffs real quick, okay? Hold on. All right, I, I want to check these. Ow! I'm checking their tightness, sir, okay? Just give me a second. I can help you. Just give me a minute. I'm not a, I'm not a mean person, sir, okay? Just give me a second. Okay, don't get squirrely with me, all right? Don't you f***ing get squirrely. I, I won't, sir. Believe me. I'm, I have no desire to do, to do that. Hold on a second here. Second. I'm sorry about that. I can't seem to get this cuff to come loose. Hey, Ace, you got another cuff key on you? Yeah. See Ow. Hang on, just I'm trying to get my key out, man. Okay? Yeah. We're yeah, trying can to just, can you just loosen this for just a sec? Oh, hey, Ron, it's good. Oh, you're good, man. I got yeah. a whole finger in there, man. Okay. Okay, I got a whole finger in there. Both my whole index fingers in there. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it was just way up on your wrist. Just keep it here at the lower portion. My knee's a paramedic, too. You hurt my arms and you hurt my back. Okay, you can call one. Because it's uh, 60. Okay. What? Stay right here. If you need a paramedic, right lean up against the wall if you need a paramedic, sir. Okay? I'm good. I'm good now, right here. Now, if you say you need a paramedic, please lean up against the wall. I don't want you falling over and getting hurt, okay? You keep your fucking hands off me, dude. You need a paramedic. Please sit down, sir. Don't tell me where to sit. Are you dizzy? Because Why do you keep fucking putting your hands on me? Why don't you obey simple commands? I don't need to obey you. Yeah. Oh, did that come out during? Yeah. Okay, I thought so. Uh, let me call APD and tell them I'll send them a pair of medicine. Okay. Okay. Hi. How you guys doing? Did you uh all seven? Yes, that was a box no. Um, sure. I'm just wondering if people have a lot of information in the past, like, the board that's on that room, and people can come in, right? 
And um, he asked me to go speak to a manager. So while I was interviewing the manager, he walked in the room and he asked him quietly to leave. And he asked me to leave. I'm ready right now. I'm ready right now. I'm sorry about that. And, um, and uh, he was in the first city line. And uh, I did speak to the manager, well, like I said, and, 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 uh, and uh, there was an email sent saying that I was a good manager. I mean, you couldn't tell, tell me that you were leaving? Uh, I mean, that I was told that he could fill out anything. Well, who's doing a mishap happening? So, you know, it's like, and, um, you need to tell me that I told him that I was in Hawaii. You can just put it out there. Oh, anyway. Oh, yeah. 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 Have a great day. Have a great day. So, um, I told him that, uh, that so, uh, We went to the ground there. Okay, so yeah. next um, um, we took about several steps in there. And I had to go started fighting back with his elbow. And, uh, and then we just went to the ground. I grabbed him. And uh, the other gentleman who was grabbing him, we went to the ground and we tussled. And I uh, pulled all my cuffs, but he walked in. Uh, so I had to try to pry his arms loose and I couldn't get his arms loose and he stood there and rested on the ground and uh, I did a few uh, control techniques and uh, I did a few control techniques and uh, would, would not come loose and uh, then he grabbed my arm and then he grabbed my arm uh, grabbed my hand like this and I'm trying to control I said, I said don't do it and uh, so he just rolled over and, uh, and uh, he, I slipped off his back and, uh, and then we uh, just got on top of me uh, at the side of him, and I uh, was trying to get out from under him. That's when he was great. The other guy from? Yeah. The one I just said? Yeah. Okay. All right. Do you have your ID on your website? Yeah. Yeah, I do. You're right not to show ID if you didn't break, if you did not violate uh, yeah. the law. Uh, I didn't violate the law. But you did. You assaulted me. Right. And I'm going to sue you. I'm going to 
Yes, yes sir, I am. Where are you hurting? He hurt my shoulders, he hurt my back, he hurt the back of my neck. He was doing pressure points on my leg and on the side of my head and on... They said something about you want medical or something like that? Yeah, just to get it on record because they, he did hurt me. My shoulder is previously injured. He re-injured my right shoulder. He didn't have a lawful right to put his hands on let me, me, sir. Uh, let me, but you want AFT to come out and take a look at you? Yes, I do. Sir, could I get your name? Busby. Busby, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Hello. What's your name? Sam. Hey, I was assaulted by this garden here. I was taken down. He was on top of me. My uh, right shoulder is previously injured. I got bad rotator cuffs on both shoulders. He re-injured him. He was on top of my back. He, uh, this guy also, and they hurt my legs and my shoulders and my back, and he was on my neck. Do you mind if I feel your pulse? I just want to check sure, go ahead. You can get through the cuffs. Right now, where exactly are you hurting? My shoulders. shoulder, my neck, my back, my legs. Okay. He was on my knee. He was doing some kind of pressure point on the side of my head or my Can neck. Can I take a look at your neck here? Sure. Come on, please unzip this a little bit. Go ahead. Better. Sure. On a scale okay. of one to ten, how bad are you hurting right now? I'd say an eight. Eight. Okay. And where is that? All over? Or in All over. Spot? Okay. All over. He hurt me bad. Okay. You said you're in which knee? Both knees. My right knee mainly. Right knee mainly. Okay. So inside, I don't think he scuffed it up, but it right. got twisted and he was laying on it. Can you, uh, I'm just gonna lift. Is that, how's that feel? It hurts. It hurts. Okay, what about that side? Uh, it's not as bad. Where is it? Is it kind of hurting like right here? Uh, oh, my top. My top rotator cuff. Okay. Yeah. So uh, this is where we're at. I believe the officers still want to talk with you. However, okay. we can't really figure out if anything's seriously injured on scene okay. for you to if, if you're extremely concerned yeah um, i'm gonna go to the hospital the hospital if if, if that's where we're gonna go we'll run some scans and check you out okay um i'm not sure what apd want to do at the minute but uh we'll sure. we'll, we'll, we'll address let's, that when after sure. you talk let's to find them, out okay What? Where does uh, So we just checked him out. Where did you want to talk to him? So he says he wants to go to the hospital. So that's where we're at. Okay. Uh, is he in custody? Um, well, we'd like to talk with him about what okay. happened. We can hang out. Um, do you mind hanging out before going to the hospital? Or sure. We can hang talking? out. Sure. Okay. Um, obviously, um, you're not free to go. I'll read your rights um, before you talk with me. You're in handcuffs. They're not our handcuffs, but either way, you probably don't feel like you're free to leave. To leave. Am I under arrest? What? Am I under arrest? Uh, not at this point, but we're still conducting the investigation. But obviously, you're not free to leave. You're in handcuffs. So I'll just read your rights. Okay. okay? Um, I'm sure you know them as well as anybody. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him or her present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before questioning if you wish one. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand all that, Mr. Allen? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, do you want to tell me about your side of the story? What happened? I was trying to apply, uh, turn an application in at the Department of Public Assistance, okay. and there is Supreme Court case law that says as a citizen I have the right to record my interactions with the government, okay. and that's plainly what I was doing. Okay. Um, do you want to tell me about what happened with the security guard? What I don't happened? want to allude to anything like that. Everything's on camera. Okay. I just want to tell you my reason for going in, okay. that it is my right to record my interaction with the government. Okay. And if I do any business with the government, if I'm turning an application in okay. or anything like that, mm -hmm. I have a right to record that interaction on my person, just as you do. You have a body camera, right? Sure. Yeah. And you're so, in public, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm Appreciate well aware. Yeah, I'm well aware. Yes, sir. Okay. 
Um, do you, you said you didn't want to say anything about your interaction with that? It's all on camera, okay. you know, and it is my right to record. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what he told you I did, mm -hmm. but you guys know me well, okay. and I'll just leave it at that. It's, you know, okay. what do you want to do? Well, I just, like I said, I just... My, my rights were violated. I, I hope that you guys educated him on my rights because okay. I still have to turn an application in there. Okay. And it is, there is Supreme Court case law. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to point which cases? I, I can look at it. Are you talking about the right to film the public? Right. Yeah, yeah. I, I understand your right to film the public. Okay. Um, there are some places that are allowed to regulate commerce, um, whether or not people are allowed to go in and out, government facilities, and whether or not filming is allowed. There are places that case law has said that it's allowed right. to regulate that type of thing. Right, and that's, um, and that's all I'm trying to do. And I haven't even looked necessarily at that right now you, you can go to my feed you could go to my some, feed or there's uh, it is posted in there that uh due to some specific circumstances you're not allowed to film in there and then right. it sounds like they asked you not to film as well. yeah but those those aren't valid lawful yeah, reasons they, they are no they're not according to supreme court case law it's not i uh, I, I have a right brandsburg v hayes if are you a supervisor is that something i Okay, you don't seem to be understanding. Just real quick, I know you said you didn't want to talk about the incident at all, but you said you're injured. Do you want me to document your injuries? Yes, 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 yes. Do you want to tell me what's what? I don't injured? know that I got scuffed up, but okay. he hurt my shoulder. Okay. He tweaked my shoulder, my okay. collar, my, my rotator cuff, okay. my knee, my back. He was on top of me. Okay. He hurt my neck. If you guys want to look at all that, that's fine. You want I'm going to take photographs of that. And yeah. Such. Do you so, want me to do that here, or do you want me to do that at the hospital? At the hospital, I guess. Okay, so we do I don't that know. At the hospital, that's Is fine. there an incident number for this? Uh, I'll get you a case number once we're done with this, and I'll let you know where we're going with this. Okay. Sure. We sure. Get to know which okay. Do sure. We know which hospital? I haven't even discussed that yet. Okay. Um, right. I know. I can forego the right. hospital. I can go to my own hospital, Las Native Medical Center. Okay. Is that okay? Um. Can I get an incident number? Well, we'll definitely give you a case number. Just give it a Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. Are you guys going to bring in And you're Officer Nelson? We can. Could, okay. Could you do that for, for yeah. just a few minutes? And yeah. then we'll Officer Conklin. Yep. Both have body cameras on. Okay. Um, you want to follow me, sir, and we'll hang sure. out. Sure, i got to get my... You guys going to take these cuts off? Um, we'll get those cuts. Those are security cuts. We'll get those cuts off and just... All right. If you, yeah. uh, I'll take those cups okay. for you. Thank you. I'm, I'm kind of afraid because you're not educated on people's rights and Supreme Court case uh, law there, Mr. I Nelson. I can't get the, you know, right here. Well, and you, you, you guys should know me. I mean, right? And hopefully you can also educate yourself on and know that there's different sides that affect the case law. And hopefully that helps you calm down and not be afraid. I'm calm. I'm not afraid of anything. I have business to do with that government office, and I'm well, going to do it. You said you were kind of afraid. I'm afraid of them guards now, yeah. Is there a supervisor on duty, or are you the supervisor? I am the supervisor. Okay. They're available for you over there now. All right. You good with this? You're not going to give me my tripod? May I take that, sir? Yeah, sure. All right, follow it. Okay, thank you. Uh, the left. Okay. Oh, he ripped my jacket. Take a seat. The guy ripped. Hold on, let me talk to those officers. They need to take a picture of this. I didn't know my jacket was ripped. I'm sorry, guys. Hey, I, guys, I noticed you took pictures of the security guard. Yeah, did you want to take yeah you guys need to take. You need to do your fucking job and take pictures of my injuries. All right, hey. You said you wanted to... This isn't a one-sided thing there, you fucking dick. Were you recording when you... Yeah, I was recording, and I'm going to record again, you stupid fucking moron. And during your recording, you asked that we do it at the hospital. I don't give a fuck. Take a picture now, you stupid bitch. Now. We will... Because his attitude is violating my rights, just plainly. You said your injuries as well. Do you want us to take pictures of your shoulders so too here? Yeah, I want you to take pictures right now. Do you want to do that out here? You're and I want an incident number. I want an investigation done. I was assaulted. Do you want to do that right now? Or? Right now. Okay. Can you uh, just stand there? We'll get some photos. 
and then we'll have you take your jacket off and your shirt so we can see your shoulder. Yeah, do your fucking job, Nelson. You're not going to violate my rights today at all. I got assaulted, my rights were violated, and you're going to fucking sit here and shit on me, dude, instead of educating the guard. The Anchorage people are going to see this. Okay? Okay, I got overalls to the outside of your body. Yeah, your investigation into my injuries are fucked. You said your shoulders and stuff, too. Do you want to take your jacket off and shirt so we can see? Your yeah, sure, officer. You, me you look very camera? concerned about my injuries. You want me to hold the camera so you can take your stuff off? No. Do you mind if I pull your sleeve off? Go ahead. Is there anything else you want me to take photos of? The right, right shoulder. shoulder. Yeah. Can you unbutton your shirt and pull your sleeve up, arm out of your sleeve? Yeah. Is that good? Are you able to? It really doesn't see your shoulder. So we can do it inside the ambulance. We can no. do it in the hospital. It's a little bit warmer inside the ambulance. So we can stand outside and do it. If you want to unbutton your shirt. Oh, okay. good. Is your other shoulder injured as well? Yeah. Do you mind if I try to pull that down so you get the sure. back of your shoulder? Sure. Go ahead. Yeah. This injured, this shoulder hurts bad. We're gonna switch into your other shoulder now. Okay. I'm gonna pull your shirt this way. Go ahead. You guys are gonna you guys are gonna protect my rights. Are you, still, are you still wanting to go to the hospital with them? I want to go in and fill out my application and do my do my job. So they don't want you back in there right now. Well, that's well, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna oh, go so back. I'm not going right now. I'm not going right now. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So you need to be aware that when you go, well, that you need to be aware it's my right to record my interaction with there the are government. Ways to, uh, no, there is no way, bro. Yeah. There is no way. You're a fucking idiot. Okay. Well, we can still you need to get educated, bro. He's a fucking idiot. He's not gonna learn. Check your vitals. Yeah, sure. Just a Step second. Step inside check your vitals. Go ahead. Step up and take a seat. Man. Thank you, guys. It's all going on. Thank you. He's gonna. Yeah, I appreciate you guys. This you know, violently get my rights violated. Just to clarify, sir, you want to go to AMC? Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Frederick, get this on this one, okay? If I can we're drive. Transporting, we're, if we're transporting, can, we're going to need to sit on this stretch, okay? I can drive myself, sir. Is that what you would rather do? Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll check you out really quick and go from there. I'm gonna okay. move. I gotta grab this form. Just let me know. So. I don't think this municipality or any of the motherfuckers give a shit about my well-being anyway. Go ahead and that still. So this poor 60-year-old homeless native veteran gets attacked at the welfare office, and you could see the the law enforcement. They don't. They don't care. They, they're not concerned one bit about this guy's welfare. Um, do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment down below, and um, I'll have part two up here shortly. This video is long enough. Trust me, you're gonna wanna see part two. It's pretty crazy. The security guard acts like he's gonna attack um, this uh, viewer, and this viewer, yeah, it's, you're gonna have to see it. It's crazy. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Later.